In a span of less than eight hours last Monday, two people were shot and killed in Carmel. Another person shot and killed on Indy's west side. Both killings, acts of domestic violence. Well, it's incredibly concerning. These are just three of at least eight domestic violence deaths in central Indiana last month, as cases become more violent and more frequent. We've seen an 86% increase in domestic violence-related death, and we can clearly attribute this to COVID. The virus has increased social isolation, unemployment, and alcohol consumption, all contributing factors of domestic violence. All of those have kind of created this perfect storm for us in the last three months. In the first month of shutdowns, 911 in Marion County had a 46% rise in domestic calls. IMPD domestic violence cases were up 16% as of June 30th, and resources like the Julian Center are seeing an increase in both the number and severity of calls. We're seeing more weapon reused. Um, we're seeing, as I mentioned, a higher level of violence. We're seeing more strangulation um, than we have in the past. With their shelter at capacity, other organizations like Families First have helped house people in hotels. They say anyone who calls will be connected to someone 24-7. If you feel like there's someone in your family, a friend, a neighbor, um, who needs help, encourage them to reach out. Advocates say it can be hard to pick up on warning signs for others when being socially distant, and it can be hard for those stuck at home to get away from their abuser. But making first contact is an important step towards safety. We're really going to have to take some aggressive action and make certain that we reach out to survivors to let them know resources are available and that we're open for services um, and that they're able to come in and receive services. Brett Cast, CBS4 News. If you or a loved one are in need of assistance, you can contact the 24-hour domestic violence hotline. That number right there, 800-332-7385. If it's an emergency, call 911.